Hey everyone, welcome back. Steffi Fernandez here, and in today's video, we'll be doing SpongeBob SquarePants on a nail. Uh, this is going to be a 2D version, so it's something super easy, beginner friendly, and we'll just have a lot of fun painting it, really. Uh, we're going to start with painting the whole nail yellow something i do recently i love painting the nail in the color of the skin tone of the character or the color that rules the majority of what i'm going to paint so uh with it being spongebob it's going to be yellow this time uh, once we apply the yellow i'm going to apply a layer of matte top coat i love painting on a matte um on a velvety and rubbery texture it helps the color stick better to the nail and it really does make my line work look insane i mean uh it really does matter what texture you paint on sometimes it just sticks better so it looks like i'm a pro but i really am not uh, i will be one day <laughs> but yeah anyway um, i hope you enjoyed this tutorial get your brushes ready your gels and let's get straight into it I'm going to start by painting a little circle in the center. Now it's going to be incomplete, so I'm going to leave a little gap at the bottom and that will form SpongeBob's nose. For the eyes, I'm going to start with a V shape in the center of the nose and then I'm going to continue mapping out the rest of the eyes by creating an upside down U shape on both sides. I'm going to add two curved lines at the bottom of each eye and that will just mark where the cheeks are going to go. I'm now going to add his smile. It's just basically a super wide U shape from one cheek to the other. I'm now going to continue the eyes with adding a tiny line between the nose and the cheek to complete a full circle. For the teeth, I'm going to add four tiny lines at the bottom of the smile we just painted and then I'm going to join up the um, end of the lines with another line at the bottom to form those little tiny squares. At the end of the smile line we just painted, I'm going to add a tiny curved line. And before we continue, I'm just going to mark up three lashes on each eye. Before we start outlining the face, I'm just going to go in and add a few dots on the cheeks. Using a dark green, I'm just going to basically paint the letter S continuously um, as a border for his face. I'm now going to add a few dots on his face. Now they don't have to be filled in perfectly, uh, just make sure they vary in sizes and they're scattered all over. So 
swapping back to black I'm gonna add two lines pointing to the center forming a triangle and then I'm gonna paint the tie Now I'm just going to add the collar, which is just like two little triangles at the side of the tie. I'm going to start painting the bottom half of his body. So it's going to be looking like a box or a square just under his face. I'm going to add a horizontal line just to separate the shirt and his pants. For the legs, I'm going to add two lines at the bottom of his trousers and then join them up just like we did with the teeth earlier. I'm adding two more tiny lines to complete the legs. Now that it is complete, I'm going to start basically filling in the character. So I'm going to fill in the eyes white, the teeth and his shirt. I'm going to flash cure it for a bit and then continue with a darker brown for the trousers. Using red, I'm going to fill in the tie bit and I'm going to add some more line work on the face. Um, just a couple of lines and enhancing the cheeks. Using a dotting tool, I'm going to add a small dot in the center of each eye using a light blue color. After curing, I'm going to go ahead and add two more dots in the center of the eyes in black and then use the same black of course to continue outlining the rest of the character. And now I'm going to go ahead and use a gorgeous blue uh, bang on by Glitter Bells for the background, uh, fill the whole background in, um, add a little bit of glitter and then of course top coat this bad boy.
and this is it you guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial you're so much fun painting spongebob for you uh if there's anything else you'd like to see let me know in the comments below i don't only do characters but i am obsessed with characters so this is something that will probably rule the majority of my work on the channel however believe it or not i am uh, I am filming something different for you next. I'm going to do a little bit of floral work uh, just to change it up a little bit. But again, if there's anything you'd like to see in particular, don't forget to leave me a comment below and I will do my best to create a tutorial for you. As usual, guys, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell and I will see you all on the next one. Take care.